Hello, hello, hello. This is the Creative Hippie. Welcome back to my channel. And I am back with another one. Um, I never explained this in my other videos, but on this channel, I love to talk about fragrances and hygiene and body care and hair care and i will definitely start getting into my lifestyle um i do have to again give thanks to all of you who have been watching my videos and thank you for liking commenting subscribing to my channel thank you so much for the love i do appreciate it so in this video i would like to talk about my favorite duas that i have been using in the spring that i would like to start using in the summer as well and before i get into it you're gonna hear my fan in the background and listen it's hot so um please bear with me because i'm not turning it off i don't want to burn up dude you know talking about this it is pretty hot this evening well tonight so um you you're gonna hear it you're gonna hear my fan but let's get into this shall we so i would like to start off with one and it's a travel size i always talk about this one so i won't get too far deep into it if you would like to know about this and my next six choices please go and check out my previous duo videos and i will definitely get in depth about the notes and everything else but this one is called belgian choco zest truffle and then the next one which is one i wore earlier today is the grand ball another one is underground next is Lady Elixir and then Gold Fluid next up Manila Delight and finally the last one up is Cotton Candy They Do It. Now, once again, if you would like to know more about the notes and how these fragrances are classified, check out my previous Dua videos. So up first, because I don't remember talking about this one, I'm going to get into a couple of travel size as well as the rest will be full size so the first travel size that i'm going to be talking about is not me picking up the wrong one it's vanilla affair and unfortunately i don't have the notes with me but if i can remember this is a bunch of different vanillas combined into one and i have to say that this is very vanilla forward but it's sweet and a little bit smoky very wearable you can layer with this as well as wear it by itself very nice combo for the spring and the summer so i like to 
bring it from the beginning of the spring to literally the end of the summer and i cannot wait to like get this in a full-size bottle and this is maybe my second year having it and i have not really gone through it so much because i have a lot of other vanillas that i've been trying but i feel for sure that i will definitely be dragging this with me and i will get a full size one this comes in like a um the 3.4 ounce the big one so if i could find it because i know that they sell out of this one i would hope to like get it so this is a vanilla affair and my last travel size will be a gourmand affair. Now, a gourmand affair is an original blend. And I forgot to mention that the other one is also an original blend. And it is a gourmand. And its notes are tangerine coconut flesh, coconut water, heliotrope, vanilla, cupcake, vanilla cupcake, orchid, amber, vanilla, and white musk. Now, this is sweet. This is very girly to me. It says it's unisex as well as the other one is also unisex, but I feel like this is just a bit more feminine like girls ladies like we can definitely wear this from young like i feel like a young lady like a teenager or even a little girl can definitely wear this and smell so pretty and so sweet i would recommend for the girls to try this this is also in a, um, a big 3.4 ounce it's the green one and this sells out a lot the vanilla one sells out a lot too but this one also sells out a lot but this i checked online and it's online right now so if you see it go get it i know like listen that price means nothing because this actually lasts too very well throughout the day and it smells so good like everybody will smell you so it's one of those scents that's like very enticing and not too enticing like it's very mellow not too cloying it won't fill up a room and it's nice and it wears close to you so i would say that but it's a very nice sweet um in a sense it's kind of like juicy couture's um viva la juicy but it's very much more milder and lighter very much more like that so it kind of reminds me of that so definitely get this a gourmand affair next up and we're getting into my the full sizes so first up we have cherry casino and cherry casino is it is a hybrid of tom ford's lost cherry and mason francis kirk de jean's baccarat rouge 540 and it's classified as an oriental. This is unisex. And its notes are, and it has a lot of notes because it has a blend of both. It's notes of grandiflorum jasmine from Egypt, saffron, bitter almond from Morocco. It has resins, cedar, musk, ambergris, black cherry, cherry liqueur, griot syrup, Turkish rose, peru blossom, Haitian vetiver, cedarwood, roasted tonka, and sandalwood. Now, I feel like this had to grow on me, right? Because it now has the remnants of Tom Ford's lost cherry 
but mixed with the um baccarat it gives it a little spicy edge it's not as like super soft it definitely gives a little bit of a spicy edge to it and it's like it kind of like tickles your nose a bit so you may want to be careful but that's just the beginning of it now as it like tones down it gets soft and it's like a light powdery cherry and um it has the marshmallow tinge of what baccarat will give you with from that like spun sugar accord and um let me see it's like it's not heavy it's not all that light but you will be able to smell it now this one to me because it will last but it gives you like a like a six hour type of thing oh and i also forgot to mention now gourmand affair is like an eight hour thing but it still wears close to the skin and a vanilla affair would give you a really really close less than like a close encounter type of scent like if you're going out on a date definitely wear vanilla affair and it's like a six hour thing it won't irritate nobody either but this this is six hour and i feel like you should wear this wear it when you are going out at night like in the nighttime not when it's hot but when it's like on a colder type of day so the early spring not too far into the summer i would like i would wear it on a summer night but it can't be like a hot sticky kind of day you know it just gotta be like a nice breezy type of day and the cherry will shine through but you just gotta give it some time like this had the age look at the color and everything like i feel like when it gets to this color that's when it's really ready for you so this once again is cherry casino and it's a favorite too it's a like a do a diva favorite okay next next up we have and excuse the label because it keeps on peeling back next we have poppy poppy is it's an inspiration from Joe Malone's Scarlet Poppy Cologne Intense. And Poppy is classified as an amber floral. And its notes are ambrette, orris, fig, poppy, tonka bean, heliotrope, and barley. Now... Poppy feel it's like it's unisex, right? But to me, it's it's like an aromatic. I love aromatic fragrances, by the way, because it gives that airy effect. This is very daytime appropriate, whether it is hot or not. Like I will take this from spring all the way until summer. This doesn't smell too floral, but is very decent enough. Oh my God, it's sweet. It's powdery, a tinge bit creamy. And it is like white dress appropriate. Like you wearing a sundress or a white tee type of thing because this is unisex, but it is a very very light and it's not nauseating at all very appropriate for the hot weather very very appropriate and it's powdery right but hmm yeah this is it smells like a baby <laughs> like it smells like baby powder a, a little bit but you see these fields it smells like you're walking like you're running through these fields right here like these these blooms right here is so nice just imagine like you're at a nice event you're at a brunch or something like that and you're wearing this 
you are bound to get compliments. I've gotten a few. And again, I've had it for some time. I let it get this color. And because when you first get it, right, it's light and airy, but the notes, like I say, with a lot of extras, the notes have not blended well. It hasn't settled and macerated enough. So again, with Dua, you have to give it time. And I'm glad I kept it and gave it enough time because it's it's really beautiful. And I knew it was going to be like that when I first got it too. I just wanted the other notes to shine just a bit more. But this is very, very appropriate for the daytime. And it's great for the hot weather. Weather, I'm sorry. So definitely get this. Smell it. Try it out. And I feel like I like Joe Malone's version of this. But I love this just a bit more. Just a little bit more. Seriously. So pick this up if you can poppy next up is caramellos and caramellos is a feminine and it is inspired by Prada candy it's classified as an amber vanilla and its notes are vanilla, caramel, powdery notes, benzoin, and musk. And this one is another aromatic fragrance. And I do remember like people smelling like this back then, right? Like it's no stick this doesn't remind me of the recent product candy but the old version of product candy and oh my gosh it smells like valentine's candies like this it's good like it smells like has that little caramel tinge but to me it smells like the valentine's sweetheart like them sweethearts it's very candy forward and it's sweet and powdery. Like the notes that they said it's in it, it's spot on. It definitely gives powdery candy. And it's so nice. Very hot weather appropriate. But I would say I would wear this at night. I would wear this at, in the daytime and at night. I would wear this day and night. Like it's so good, so sweet, so pretty. Um, I'd say wear this for any type of occasion. Wear this for any occasion. It doesn't have to be special. It's really just that nice to me. Like, it is very light and, um, hmm, airy. Very airy. Again, and I, I like fragrances that give that, that vintage type of touch this does not smell too vintage like i said this is probably will go back to like the 90s or whatnot and i like reminisce about it a lot but these candies here does not give it justice like i i wish they put the valentine's candies on here too it does smell like now this lollipop it does smell like this one because I, I do remember how these smell does smell like this and this little candy cane right here it does it does give you candy but it gives the valentine's candy like y'all know what i'm talking about y'all have to know like the powdery sweet ones and i don't really like the taste of those but i do like the smell of them and this definitely gives it like if prada had the old formula still because I'm not a really too much of the fan of the new one, but I do enjoy the old one, then, you know, this is what it would smell like. Like, I do truly miss that version because my friend's mom used to wear that. And this is exactly what it smells like. So here we have Caramellos. Please pick this up. I don't really hear a lot of people talk about this. I really feel like you should get it. Next up, and we're going to get into the vanillas that I've been 
exploring the first vanilla is an inspiration of Veniglia by Mazzolari and it is Dua's Veniglia and it is a unisex and it's classified as an amber floral and its notes are vanilla, caramel, and orchid. Now, this had to grow on me because, wow, now it's really nice. When I first got it, it smelled a bit, hmm, it smelled a bit, bit like hard like it was um it smelled burnt like burnt vanilla but then it started to lighten up and i guess the orchid finally started to push through and it's it's the orchid and the caramel definitely started to push through i feel like the caramel it was very caramel heavy but it was lean leaning on caramel that you've been cooking for just a little bit too long so now that i've let it sit for a while and the vanilla and the orchid is now like coming through this is so doable now i do have a sample of vaniglia i definitely have a sample of it and this smells spot on but it lasts a little bit longer than Vaniglia, it does. But either way, I like to wear both of them together. Like sometimes I will wear the sample with this, but I don't have that much of the sample left. So um, I just like wanted to try wearing a sample by itself. But I like this a lot, I do. It's growing on me. I've been wearing this um before going to bed like like my nighttime after my nighttime bath i feel like this is that type of um scent you could wear this going out or whatnot at night or you could wear this you know like uh i would say a special occasion but i would like to also layer this with another kind of vanilla or another type of you know, a fragrance that's has vanilla in it just to bring it out just a little bit more. So this is a a like a um, talked about vanilla a lot. If you're part of the Dua Divas, you know what I'm talking about. A, a lot of them talk about this a lot. It's um the Dua Divas on the Facebook group. And we absolutely love this vanilla definitely pick it up if you can it's on the side it doesn't sell out too much it's always available and i say pick it up it's a favorite do a vanilla next up is oh my god another favorite so much so i've even talked about it on my instagram and it is vanillic dreams now this i love this is inspired by tohoda's adult it's an amber vanilla and its notes are just vanilla and musk i wear this so 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 much i wear this by itself i wear it layered with other things like the way it just, oh my God, the way it just stands out is ridiculous. And to top it all off, I have a sample of Indult too. Definitely spot on. It definitely smells like it. Um, I can't say which one I would wear more, but I do love wearing this because this lasts just a little bit longer. Vaniglia lasts for i would say it would give about six to seven hours this is about the same 
just about the same and i layer with this with so much sometimes and i'm about to give a combo and i don't want to do combos yet but sometimes i layer these two together i wear these two together a lot and it'll make it last longer and it'll make the notes stand out just a bit more i love to wear this so much this is definitely one of my favorite favorite vanillas of all time definitely pick it up it's a it's a crowd pleaser too it's so sweet so noticeable wear this anytime anywhere spring summer all year round get this pick it up and don't let it get out of your collection all right vanillic dreams next and i bought this one because i absolutely love what it's inspired by and this is a vanillic wood now a vanillic wood is inspired by serge luton's umbravani and i love umbravani it's classified as an amber vanilla and its notes are vanilla coconut beeswax black licorice sandalwood tonka bean bitter almond guyac wood benzoin and musk now i'm not gonna front i love to wear this a little bit more than ubravani again you already know what's coming up because it lasts longer it lasts longer and to top it all off um the coconut stands out just a little bit more the beeswax too but oh my god still smells like a beach it smells like a beach i love to wear this in the spring but especially the summer because it smells super tropical that tropical how they made this it smells summer worthy you could wear this any time in the summer but i'm choose the hottest days to wear this because it's so like it smells like the beach it smells like a vacation definitely a banger i would layer this but not really like i would also layer this with um you know vanilla dreams too but um i love to wear this by itself because you know it definitely reminds me of um um Bravani, but it also a little bit just a little bit it reminds me of um and Mika left Elang and Gold too with that tropical type of um vibe. But you know, this is because the coconut stands out a lot in this, but it's so good, so vanilla y. But it only lasts for me like four to six hours. It depends on how I'm layering it and if I like spray on my clothes which i don't do too much because you see that color i don't want to stain my clothes too much like if i'm wearing white i don't really like to spray my clothes too much but if not i'm spraying it all over me and then plus you know the composition this is an x-ray so it can be oily and then you know oil is you know it's not that easy to get out of your clothes depending on the material so um yes this is so hot weather worthy like definitely a standout a standout in the hot weather i'm definitely bringing this into summer with me because i noticed on my on the hot days of spring how it would smell like it was so like sweet right but it's like it's like the coconut milk type of sweet it's the coconut milk along with the flesh a little bit not too much of the water but the milk you smell it it smells like it and it's so like it's a bit creamy too so creamy like a creamy vanilla coconut milk type of thing it's very good it smells like 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 a a bit 
like you can mix in mix this in with a pina colada type of thing but it doesn't smell like a pina colada don't get it twisted it just smells like you can mix this in with a pina colada but it's so nice so hot weather worthy please pick this up if you can a vanilla a vanilla wood oh, that smells so good it's my favorite one Next up, Whew. this sexy thing right here is nighttime worthy, and it is aphrodisiac dua therapy. Aphrodisiac dua therapy is a concept series inspired by a hybrid of initial perfumes, psychedelic love, and initial perfumes must therapy. It is classified as an amber floral and its notes are ylang ylang, black currant, bergamot, heliotrope, mandarin orange, white sandalwood, hedione, Bulgarian rose, magnolia, musk, and cedarwood. Now, my mama. I was on the fence about getting this. I'm not going to lie because I'm like, wait a minute. Psychedelic love and musk therapy mixed together? Oh, my God. This is so fine. This is a sensual fragrance right here you see that heart you're gonna fall in love now somebody gonna fall in love with you wearing this this is date night appropriate you going out trying to like you know what i'm saying get dressed up you're going on a date you wear this like definitely a night i would say all year round but i feel like it's good for the hot weather because the I feel like the must therapy part mellows out the psychedelic love and makes it a bit more lighter. So it's not a heavy fragrance. It's very nice and mild, but it puts you in the mood. It's one of those things. You you know, you you hear the background. It gives you it will give the person butterflies around you. It's a oh Super, super sexy fragrance. You already know where I'm going with this. Like, this is so fire. Beautiful. Oh, my, every time I smell this, I'll be like, like, wow. It's like, because it's like a kind of a mysterious type of fragrance, too. I love a good mysterious fragrance. This is, whew. It's a huggable type thing. Like, you can embrace somebody smelling like this. You'll want to be, your nose will be on them all night. Like, they will be on you all night, rather, because you're going to be the one wearing this, right? It's unisex, so anybody could wear this and smell their very best going out. This is definitely something that you get dressed and wear. Like, dress your flyers, go out there, and knock them boots off. Wear this, though. <laughs> <laughs> aphrodisiac do a therapy get this y'all this is very nice ah oh, man so next up next up we have heaven's moonlight Heaven's Moonlight is inspired by Killian's Moonlight in Heaven. Ooh, and if y'all know how that smells, y'all already know where I'm going with this. Its notes are, it's this is an aromatic fragrance too. And y'all already know, I've said this before, I love some aromatics. Its notes are grapefruit pink pepper, lemon, mango, coconut, rice, 
vetiver and tonka bean. Now, when I first got this, right, I said it feels like, because, oh my God, it's, it's aromatic. It's very aromatic. I said it feels like you are eating a bowl of rice while floating on the crowd on the clouds and i know it's like it's hard to imagine but yes you're eating a bowl of coconut rice while floating on the clouds it is so airy so sweet and creamy and good right but it's not obnoxious this is very sexy very anytime appropriate right but definitely good at night i feel like you could really rock this out at night it reminds me of moonlight in heaven too but i like this version a little bit better because no i, I actually i like the other one too I'm, i can't even say i like it better i like it i like both versions i love a lot of killian's fragrances so i cannot say i like this better i don't i'm definitely lying right now i like both versions I love this one too, though. I love both of them, but this definitely reminds me of it. It's so, oh my God. Whew. This is so, 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 so nice. Very, it's a good rendition of Moonlight in Heaven. It looks, it smells like how this bottle looks, like this picture. Just being out there. I would say wear this at night, though. I know I said the daytime, but if you do wear this in the daytime, don't put too much sprays of this, but definitely do this at night. And be dressed up in any type of thing, but a nice dress will do. It's unisex, though, so, you know, anybody could wear this dressed up. But wear this on a special occasion if you can. But if not, listen, just wear it at night, spring and summer. Not when it's too, too hot. Like when it's getting there, but not when it's like sticky hot. I'm going to get into those fragrances a little bit later. But definitely this is a good nighttime type of fragrance. Heaven's Moonlight. Next is another hybrid. And this is... Princeless Black Widow. And it's inspired by a couple of more of Killian's fragrances. And they are I Don't Need a Prince by My Side to Be a Princess, aka Princess, and Black Phantom. I love both both of those fragrances i love both of those fragrances so much and um mixed up in this bottle they did good Dua, you did a good job it is classified as an amber vanilla and its notes are dark chocolate lemon rum caramel coffee green tea Ginger, peach, hedion, jasmine, apple, marshmallow, vanilla, sugarcane, almond, sandalwood, benzoin, and heliotrope. Now, let me tell you about this. Oh, man. This is... Wait, is that night. This is sexy. Let me spray this right now. I ain't wearing nothing. I washed everything off. So, whew. Yeah. Y'all, this is sweet. Oh, it's kind of soapy a little bit. Oh my God. This is so freaking sweet and yummy. Like, what? Edible. <laughs> it's like marshmallowy. You get the bits of the chocolate. It's like chocolate covered marshmallows. But they're sexy. Like, golly. Ooh, man. This is not obnoxious. Definitely dress up for this. 
Ooh. <laughs> Sorry. Like, it's really just that good. Hey. Oh, my God. Definitely nighttime. Nighttime, nighttime, nighttime. Chocolate covered marshmallows. This isn't obnoxious at all. It's not too heady. Mmm. It smells a bit citrusy. Just a little bit. Mmm. It's oh my gosh. You going on a date with this? Um special occasion worthy, yes. Going out with friends, yes. Um, I'd say, listen, going to the carnival or like a concert. Dang. Yeah. And anybody, like truly anybody could wear this, but I feel like this is a bit more feminine. I feel like it's more feminine because of the princess side. But the, the black phantom side makes it more like like dark like ooh, like dominant like it makes like this is like for a dominant type of woman like a boss but she is sweet though she is a sweet little thing she's still you know she's still cute but don't play with her type of thing this is nice oh my gosh like, I like how I let this age. Look at that. I'm telling you, let it get this color and it's on. Whew. I don't feel like it's for the, for the daytime. I really do feel like this is an evening and a nighttime type of thing. So, if you're going out, daytime appropriate type of thing. Princeless Black Widow. Next is the lighter version the sweeter the prettier version and this one is a hybrid of oriana by parfums de marley delala child um and princess by killian this is called hey princeless sweetie and this is an amber vanilla with the notes of lemon green tea, bergamot, ginger, peach, hedion, jasmine, orange blossom, raspberry, um, black currant, apple, marshmallow, vanilla, benzoin, mandarin, orange, grapefruit, whipped cream, musk, and ambrette. Now, now this one, this one, you can definitely wear all day every day spring summer type of thing oh my god it's so pretty this is a pretty pretty you see the bottle look at the pretty bottle women of all ages can wear this it is so princess like it screams a sweet royalty like so pretty this is a uh, Oh my, I'm gonna spray this one too. I'm gonna spray this on the other side though. Like, this is a little bit more citrusy though, especially in the beginning. But as it dies down, you get the Oriana side and the princess side meshed very well together. But there's still that citrus in the background. Like that, um, I guess there's a, um, what citrus note is that? It's the bergamot. The bergamot and the mandarin orange and the grapefruit. Those citruses definitely stand out still. But it's sweet. So I feel like this is more of a sweet citrus that you can wear in the daytime. So it's definitely a sweet citrus. The citrus doesn't last for too long. I feel like it'll last probably about a couple of hours. I keep on forgetting to talk about the hours. Like that princess 
um black widow that's an eight hour type of thing but this one is like around that type of thing too because these are like lasting this is a lasting blend right here definitely eight hours so and it wears close to the skin now the citrus in the beginning it wasn't standing out as much as it was now there was more of that marshmallow type of thing it was more like heavier but now that it's aged well the citrus is like not really going anywhere so i feel like the marshmallow carries the citrus for like at least like six hours and then it starts to die down and it just becomes like a like a heavy marshmallow type of thing so it's sweet and it's kind of cakey but it's like um like an orange cake it's an orange cake type of thing but it'll stand out you will definitely stand out it's a it's a very unique type of blend too with having them together in this bottle it's very nice definitely spring and summer worthy and i feel like it's because of the citrus that's why i like this in the like i would definitely carry this into the summer because i like citruses in the summer but in the spring yes with that sweetness this will do and i say wear it in the hot wear it in the hot weather yeah definitely wearing it in hot weather child listen you won't really bother anyone too much it could be hot outside hey princeless sweetie next and we're getting into our hot weather faves now so next up is pistachio gelato now this is an original blend and this came out before kali's pistachio yum gelato okay this this was here first okay so i have not i have to admit i have not tried the kali one yet but you know i really do love this one so as i said this is an original blend and it is classified as a gourmand and its notes are pistachio cream vanilla cream gelato accord pistachio powder pistachio custard and white musk now this one this one oh my gosh it reminds me of pistachio ice cream it's thick it's like that thick pistachio no also i say i would say like wear this with your pistachio scented body care this is a good standout it definitely it's not too nutty but it's more sweet it's like a sweet creamy pistachio definitely smells like gelato like pistachio gelato it is hot weather oh oh my gosh it's hot weather spring and summertime were the i'm so glad i kept it and let it age it smells so good so light so kind of not powdery not too like cloying or anything like that but it is very very yummy like oh like lickable <laughs> lickable sweet you don't it don't matter how you look when wearing this like look your best at all times yes but you don't have to be too dressy you can wear like your simple clothes you could be wearing your like your just regular shorts and a t-shirt type of thing and you'll be fine with this on this is so good hot weather appropriate 
spring and summer appropriate i wouldn't even wear this in the fall i tried but it doesn't stand out enough for me like i love this time of year like it's new it was pretty new it came out like i think it came out last year it came out last year so um when i got it i didn't feel like it was ready but now it's it's definitely doable it's so wearable like oh my god you don't even need that much on it and it lasts for so long it lasts for about eight hours this lasts for eight hours get this pick this up i want to um get kay ali's um pistachio yum gelato to, to compare this with you know but i say if you can definitely get this pick this up pistachio gelato get it y'all this is so good next up is juicy pear juicy pear now whew, this one is fresh this one is an original blend right it's an original blend and it's a fruity this is a fruity its notes are pear guava melon pineapple jackfruit vanilla gin mojito and musk this scent reminds me of victoria's secret pear glace but or is it pear glace or pear glace i don't i don't know but y'all know what i'm talking about i used to wear that back in high school so i definitely know i haven't picked it up in a long 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 time but this reminds me of it so much oh my gosh and it has the lasting power that I always wanted Pear Glaze to have. This is so fresh, so clean, so it smells like you just walked up out the shower and you like really washed up and you smelling good. Like it smells like back in the day, like when I used to wear this, like, oh my gosh, this smells exactly how I always wanted it. I always wanted the Victoria's Secret one this morning. I cannot front. When I say this is a pear fragrance, and I, I really couldn't get into pear fragrances after. Like, um, John Paul Gaultier's La Belle, right? I like it. I love it. But it has so many other notes. But it doesn't have the pear that I've always wanted. It's a pear in there, right? But I, but the pear that's in there is in this. Like, I just wanted the pear to be by itself. Like, there's other notes in here, but you don't smell it. You just smell the pear. It's like the other notes in it has boosted it up. Like, it boosts the pear up. So, it smells like a shampoo. Like, it smells like a, a clean pear shampoo definitely spring and summer worthy hot weather hot weather this is it like yo this lasts too it lasts for about i say eight to twelve hours like you hot and sticky spray this one spray this one that's hot if you hot and sticky spray this one no when you get to that type of moment if you feel like you get in there you won't have to worry about nothing because this will help you you know it's makes sure it'll make your sweat smell good like <laughs> this smells so clean and just bright it's a bright pear too bright juicy green pear it smells so good oh my god and it lives right up to its name yeah i already heard it so many times juicy Pear. I love to layer this with like my pear scented body care too. Oh my god, all of them. Ooh, I should make a video about that too. I think I should. Next up, it's another fruity beauty, and it is 
dirty banana <laughs> dirty banana this is another duo original it smells like nothing i've ever smelled before either so i can't even compare this to anything but I, I take that back it doesn't smell like another fragrance i've smelled before right let's get into the description first it's a fruity its notes are banana milk banana flower banana smoothie peach tolu blossom oh tolu balsam i'm sorry truffle amber and incense when i first got this right whew, this smells like banana runts now it smells like banana pudding with the run banana runts in the back like it smells so creamy it smells like fresh bananas like banana pound cake it's oh, it's sweet and it's like a vanilla thing it's like it smells like um this a uh, banana floral too it's very creamy very nice and light and whew, it smells so good now the problem i do have with it if it, it feels like this only lasts for about four to six hours like i wish it lasted just a little bit longer but i do have banana scented products that help it you know go just a little bit longer but y'all this is such a fun type of thing i'm not used to banana fragrances although there is um there is a banana fragrance that i would like to try um from ai the great i don't know if y'all know y'all know her ai the great she's on youtube another bronx native hell so you know I want to try her fragrance because I know I think she has a banana note in it and I would like to buy that to compare to this well that's what I'm gonna do and I really feel y'all should pick this up because it's a fun fruity it smells like a banana smoothie it's creamy like an ice cream a banana ice cream type of thing or a banana and vanilla ice cream you know, it's 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 a sweet type of thing. Definitely hot weather, daytime, you know, fun. It's a fun fragrance too. So um get this, pick it up, don't be afraid. I know it's it says it's dirty banana, but there is nothing dirty about this fragrance at all. In fact, it's you will smell clean and sweet and just you know. It's a goodie. Get this, y'all. Dirty banana. Oh my God. Now, next up is whew, the way I'm going to talk about this, right? First of all, this is Ripe Melons, another original. Ripe melons to me Ripe melon smells like to me it smells like oh first of all it's an original blend I'm sorry y'all it's fruity its notes are watermelon melon kiwi red fruits smoothie red fruit smoothie what what's that like yellow cherry sour cherry sour cherry blossom watermelon lemonade watermelon daiquiri and white musk those notes sound all good some of them were a little you know off i've i've had a yellow cherry before so i could definitely smell that in it as well but not as much as the watermelon in fact 
this to me smells like the watermelon trident gum yes the watermelon trident gum it is so fresh and like the juice of watermelon oh it's so freaking bright and fruity and like clean it smells really clean and aquatic that's what i'm trying to say it smells like an aquatic watermelon like a like a juicy juicy watermelon not just watermelon either it smells like you have that like the other um like the cantaloupe and stuff like that in it 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 smells so juicy very juicy very hot wet they're appropriate like if it's a like a hot day spray this on you it smells so good and oh what is what is also like it it's layerable like i like to layer this with um dolce and gabbana's limp patrice i forgot to put that in my last video but this is actually what i wanted that to smell like i'm not gonna front because the watermelon in it is there but the other you know notes in it kind of like you know throw it off and it smells type sour this doesn't smell sour at all this smells very fresh and marine like like and minty it doesn't have mint in it does it i didn't read any mint in it nah it doesn't have any mint in it but i think it's the daiquiri that has that it it makes it feels like it's a vodka in it so it got that that liquor it smells like it's in there so it, it brings out that vibe in it it's so like so fresh and sweet it's a sweet melon and again, it definitely smells like that watermelon mint trident. Definitely hot weather appropriate. And I know it's a lot of you that don't like to wear perfume, but if it was a perfume you could you could wear, it should be this one. Ripe melons. Keeping on the topic of melons, it's another melon you should try. And it is my second to last one, Melon Bing Su. Oh my gosh. This one is a Dua original too, Melon Bing Su. The other melon is eight hours. This one is the same thing. Oh my goodness very 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 sweet and sexy melon and it is a gourmand right and its notes are smelling shaved ice accord interesting vanilla ice cream sweetened condensed milk whipped cream shaved almonds and white musk y'all they said that they named this they made this to be inspired by a, a korean dessert and it's like shaved ice along with toppings that includes beans and syrups and various fruits I don't get those other fruits, but I definitely get the me the melon. It smells like what I described as ripe melons. This is definitely a creamier version of that, but it is super nice and sweet. And sometimes, and only sometimes, it depends on the day, I put these two together. I will put these two together. They smell so good together too. But um, because this one could lean a little bit more masculine, this is way more feminine. 
So I absolutely, absolutely love this so much. It's so melony is so creamy and i'm trying to think is a victoria's secret melon like i think it's cucumber melon or the other one kind of smells like cucumber melon but it is so good so so good so good and um it's juicy juicy fruity a tinge bit creamy not super creamy but it's just a tinge creamy it's a fresh like cantaloupe melon not too watermelon but more of the like the melon like the green melon and then the cantaloupe to go next to it but it is so good it's so sweet very girly hot weather all type of weather appropriate right definitely spring and summer type of thing this lasts for eight hours sometimes 12 if it, if i'm having like if i've like really sprayed it on me and i i do like spray it a lot and look i have been spraying this right but it's just i don't need too much but at the same time it's just like I'm, I have other products and I'm going to show you in another, I'm a, I'm actually am going to make the video. Now I want to do it. I'm going to um, show you exactly how I, what I layer these with. This is so, 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 so good. It's, listen, if you're looking for a melon that I feel is very Victoria's Secret light, but the body sprays ain't lasting, but you want to layer something with those body sprays, pick this up. This is like anybody, anybody can wear this and smell so good. Don't tell, don't tell any, like, listen, don't say I didn't tell you so. Everybody talks about this in the group. I wish more people knew about this because it is that good and i feel like y'all should be picking up bottles of this one or two bottles i don't know i've never seen it sell out but i'm pretty sure it will after this video because it is just that good and it's just in time for the summer this is just in time for the summer get it summer's right around the corner you will smell super good wearing this melon bing so yo ugh. This is one of the best melons I've ever smelled in a fragrance. And I still have yet to smell a perfume that smells like this, too. Ah, uh, now my very last fragrance is... Was... It took a while for me to get, and I've had it in a sample size. But y'all see this? This is my favorite, right? I love this so much. I've been holding on to this a little bit, right? But because I've had a sample of this, which is Cotton Candy Nights. This is Casino Royale, Cotton Candy Nights. This is do us cotton candy mixed with their version of Baccarat Rouge 540. Yo, the way they did this fragrance, the way they did this fragrance, yo, this is sweet marshmallowy and sexy and expensive this smells like an expensive version of cotton candy they do uh, so much so i like to wear these together at night time only at night time but i like to wear this by itself i don't even like layering this too much with anything only the cotton candy but i wear this by itself this is 12 plus hours you can wear this every day because and to top it all off I spray this in my clothes and I put on some like if I have a like a jacket or something I'll smell this still in the jacket it's really 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 good so like I said 
it is the hybrid of Dua's cotton candy mixed with their version of Baccarat Rouge 540 the X straight which is Casino Royale um the Casino Royale Knights is Dua's version of um um the X straight and the notes are it's classified as a gourmand and its notes are Grandiflorum Jasmine from Egypt saffron cotton candy bitter almond from morocco resins right and then there's cedarwood ambergris spun sugar vanilla and white musk i'm talking about this last because if you want me to be honest i literally talked about my least fave to my most fave and this is my most favorite this has sadly not underground out the park because it is really 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 good this surprised me so much and i wound up losing my other version i left it somewhere and i think the person might have um you know got the bottle and just said hey you know what she ain't getting this back and i'm glad i was i don't see that person no more because i want to fight but i want my bottle back anyway <laughs> this is so good like yo this perfume this extra is so sweet and it's a lighter version to me it's a aromatic version of Dua's cotton candy and you already heard me talk about cotton candy so many times how it smells like spun cotton candy like not pink sugar or anything it smells like actual cotton candy that you get in a carnival like the fair it smells like this smells like it but it's like a uh, a richer kind, a richer version with that Baccarat. This is what I thought Baccarat would smell like, but I still love Baccarat now, but I like this just a little bit more. I love this perfume. I love this perfume. It's so, it's so good. Like, let me, oh. Whew. this is amped up cotton candy it's amped up it's sweet oh like it makes you like the other like cotton candy makes you feel like you smelling the cotton candy this makes you feel like you actually eating the cotton candy like this is so 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 good this is very sweet and nice and you can wear this any time i know people are like oh they don't want to wear it i'm wearing it and i get a lot of compliments when i wear this too like people look like what are you wearing like this is so different very different from what people would usually wear this is so like yummy chewy good like i feel like you actually eating that blue and pink cotton candy look like I see what it said. Like, look at how it looks, right? But what they should have had was the Ferris wheel on this bottle with the actual cotton candy on it. Because this is so, this makes you feel like you are there. Like, you're in front of the machine. You got the candy. You bought the candy whatnot. And you're eating it. That's what this bottle smells like. This is what it will smell like on your skin, on your clothes. And literally anybody can wear this and smell their best. This is so good. Oh my God. Like, so if you see this on the website, you better get it. And I think this does sell out a lot too. This is another favorite. This is a crowd pleaser. Like, a lot of people every time i wear this i had to stop wearing it for a while because i had to give other people like all my other fragrances a chance you see like i've i literally just bought this like 
last month because i lost my bottle a couple of months ago but i literally just bought this last night and already i'm putting it in this bottle because it's so good it's this is literally my favorite my favorite of all time this is i feel like the best feminine like the best feminine fragrance that Dua has is this Casino Royale Cotton Candy Nights. Please, ladies, you see this? Pick this up and thank me later. I'm telling you, you're gonna smell super good to just any and everybody. It is like you see this, you see it. Oh my gosh, it's so good oh man so i have to tell y'all thank you if you have lasted throughout this hour thank you so much for bearing with me y'all know i come on here i'm never prepared but when i'm like in the zone i'm there and i absolutely love these fragrances y'all know how much i love dua how i feel about this company you see it you see like a lot of them just try it out get some samples if you can um i'm gonna leave the links in the description box where you could pick up um samples from you know other websites because they do sell out of their little um 10 mil travel sprays they don't usually have them a lot i've seen them but then i don't see them anymore so i'm gonna leave the description in the oh the link in the description box i'm sorry or where you can get it from thank you so much for riding out this video with me thank you so much like comment and subscribe share if you can um i will bring another video back into the fall so not to the fall but you know i'm gonna come back with another one all right thank you so much peace